seven consecutive finals. Uh, he's going for his eight, three finals MVP, a triple double average in the finals, and the list goes on and on. <laughs> this guy, I mean, you may not know about it, but some may have forgotten. But LeBron James story is stretching way back to the days after he was drafted, right to the fashion of the greatest finals comeback in NBA history when they beat them boys 3 1. If you're not familiar with the 13 moments, you're not giving the true full story of LeBron James. I better look at him, and I'm telling you, he's going to his eighth final, and that's why I said they will beat the Celtics. Why everybody talking about the Celtics is tough. Yeah, but did, you Pippen, did you see the Scotty Pippen? Did you see Scotty Pippen said the uh, Jordan is better than LeBron? Yeah, he's gonna say because Jordan is his buddy. He's gonna say that, but man, I'm gonna tell you something, Hollywood. I'm gonna say this to you. Listen to me. I'm gonna. This is why I say this. You may want six titles. Okay, that's good. I'm going to give you six titles. The other guy may won three titles. But when you go to going on eight finals in a row, in a row, eight, man, you know how tough that is? Get to the NBA final eight years in a row, and you're the main focus, the main the main. Person. Man, I know Can teams the, that the made it to the finals and ain't been back to the finals. Come on, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now that after you said Milestone records and assists, steals, three points, triple doubles. He got the most triple doubles ever in playoff history. When you're doing that, you got to be the most decorated playoff player in NBA history in the playoffs. You have to be. That's what they're telling once about it. I give Jordan his six titles. I give Kobe his five titles. But you got to go back to this guy who's just and this, basketball IQ is unreal. And then this and is that's another. That's why I think they're gonna beat the Celtics. And this is another thing that I want to say too because. Everybody, they seem like they hating, but the whole thing is, you get brung back up in the in the conversation. You 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 was an old older great, but everybody is like people are born to break records, so exactly. your record is gonna be broken eventually. But the good thing is, when your record gets broken, what do they do? When LeBron James passes these people, what happens? Oh, he just passed up Dr. J. Magic Johnson. We ain't heard of these people in like 10 years in the NBA. Come on. Come on, man. So now all of a sudden you got everybody going on their computer looking you up. You getting views. You getting clicks. People might even see you and then want to buy some of your stuff. So y'all got to quit the hating because it only it only adds on to your legacy. It makes your legacy. You live longer while LeBron James breaks your records, basically. Right. I tell you, a record he passed last year, and that's a good point to bring up about when you say about the legacy of the record. I didn't know this. It was a, it was a, this was a a great milestone he passed up. Last year he broke Michael Jordan all time three point uh, record in the playoffs, more three pointers ever. He broke Jordan record last year. That was not this year. Last year I was like, oh, and Jordan hit some threes in his time. When LeBron broke that, that's why I was like, okay, I gotta give this guy some credit here. Mm-hmm. You know, but like I said, and that's why I think I'm not saying he's the one person on the team. But based on his accolades and based on what he's accomplished the last seven years going to the finals, I don't see nobody. He's this close. Boston have a 2-1 lead. I don't see him not giving that record up going to the eighth in a, in a row. I don't see him letting that get past him. He's going to do everything in the world to get that. That's why I say the goal is just clear you're going to be a fool. You know, people say, well, Boston undefeated at home. They, of course, they won seven games. They beat, they beat Cleveland, too. They say 9-0 at home. You got to give them that credit. But if there's but, anybody, just go ahead and say it. If there's anybody go in there, go ahead and say in a, it. In a game seven, it can beat them. It's going to be LeBron James and Cleveland. Because you, you, get, okay, you, get, you, get, you get Boston all their homes, all their wins at home. You give Cleveland the wins. But if it's come to a game seven, I don't care where it's at. Brian Brian bringing it home. A lot of people don't like him. They say because he cry a lot, he flops and this and that. But they just don't like LeBron James because LeBron James know how to win. And that's simple. Mm-hmm. But see, my buddy, I had to call him out because, you know, he, he came over to watch the game with me because he thought Boston really was going to win. Yeah. You know, the okay. third quarter, he, he he left already. I was he like, left. nigga, you left. ain't want to watch the game. <laughs> you, <laughs> you was here hoping LeBron lost, so you, <laughs> so you can try to tease face. me. Yeah, yeah he's trying to throw in your face. <laughs> I know. I don't know. It's a bunch of them out there like that. Mm-hmm, but that's you know? going to be the uh, show for today, so go ahead and shoot your shot. You guys have a great day. Be good to yourself as well as to others. Enjoy your day. Thank you. All right. And there you have it, another great show at HWL Radio Sports. Go over to hwlradio.com, download the music app, and also make sure you check out our sponsors page.
And like I always say, hit my motherfucking music. And if you don't hear the music, it's because you didn't go over to hwlradio.com and download the music app. And we out.